Ta-da! <laughs> How the heck are you? So, uh, I have the Arrogant Bastard Ale, 7.7%. It came in this bastard box that has a double bastard, <laughs> the Lucky Bastard, uh, and the a uh, bourbon barrel aged arrogant bastard. Um, how about that? This was only twenty bucks, which makes these about five dollars a bomber, which is a hell of a good deal if you're asking me. Uh, so anyway, I decided just to use my little my little Belgian glass here I got from White River just to, uh, you know, for a little bit of time, just enjoy. Just want to do a little quick video for you all. Because everybody knows what arrogant bastard tastes like by now, don't you, sons of bitches? This is a very interesting ale, man. It is just beautiful, in my opinion. It actually has it on tap, and it's even better on tap. But it's just one of those great big ales that does everything right. For me, anyway, I mean, it's big malt. There's a lot of hops going on. Ugh. I'm not going to call it a sipper because the folks from Stone will come by and, you know, have a blanket party on my ass for saying such nonsense. But yeah, no, it isn't one you want to slam either. This, this, I'm not going to call this a sipper. It's not a sipper. But it's not one you want to slam. Because if you drink this too fast, you're going to miss the nuances of the flavor. Don't sip it by all means. I never say, I always, in fact, you've always heard me say never sip a beer because you're going to miss it. You need to take a nice drink. Oh, yeah, babe. To get the flavors. But if you're slamming it, if you're knocking it back so fast you're missing the flavors, well, you're missing out as well. So, don't sip this bad boy. But, you know, don't slam her either. Treat her right, baby. Treat her right. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Oh, the nose is gorgeous on this. The flavors are just spot on. Uh, actually, I didn't have this in the fridge at all. I actually just had it in my garage. Of course, you know, this is a... Uh, it's been rather cold here. Uh, well, not cold as you folks in the east. I hate to be bitching because I might have some friends in Buffalo say, "You don't know what cold is, you son of a bitch." But <laughs> it's been it's been a little chilly here for these parts. So yeah, I just had it sitting out in the garage. So I mean, it's not I'm not facing a lot of temperature fluctuation, <laughs> you know. So anyway, fluxation, fluxation. I meant to say I can't even talk, man. It's the bastard. The bastard is taking control of my lips, man. So anyways. Fluctuation. Let's let's see if you can speak right, Tom. This beer it should be taken seriously, my God. And you screw around too much, Tom. Uh, <laughs> people say that shit to me all the time, like 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 we're talking quantum physics and shit. <laughs> we're just having a beer, man. Just freaking relax and drink it, will you? <laughs> If you don't like it, kiss my ass. Anyways, uh, I digress. Uh, I talk like this because I am having a stone. Because I think this is what they would call for. This is an arrogant bastard, buddy. And I'm going to act like an arrogant bastard while I'm drinking it. Because that's what it does to you, man. Uh, so anyway, I'm... You've lost control, Tom. I know, but I don't know how to get it back from here. So anyway, yeah, this is a deal. If you can find a bastard box in your neighborhood, I'd certainly recommend buying it. I wish I'd have bought two while I had them at that price. Uh, I'm kind of kicking myself now for not buying, not buying a whole case of them, to be honest with you. But anyway, I'm trying to bear whisper, and I'll see you later.